in the last couple of seasons, you'd probably have to say he's really come to hand in the spring and first time out, he, he's probably a little bit vulnerable. Uh, this is another extremely good race coming up here on Channel 4 this afternoon. Marvellous afternoons jumping Monet's Garden on the left of Schindler's Hunt in the red and white. Guanaco on the extreme right, Alberta's run, followed then by medicinal Voipuru Stades in the familiar pink cap, white sleeves, the Sir Robert Ogden colours, and then Panjo Bear and Planet of Sound. Planet of Sound on the left in the purple and white jacket at the rear of the field as they race uphill through these early stages. And Monet's Garden jumped so beautifully when winning at Aintree first time out this season. Guanaco's pulling hard in the red sleeves for Christian Williams on the far side. McCoy on Alberta's run, very handy indeed, keeping him interested, followed by Schindler's Hunt, Voipuru Stades, and then Planet of Sound, Panjo, Bear and Medicinal at the rear of the field. So they head right-handed towards the home straight for the first time in this Amlin 1965 chase and it's Monet's Garden in front here from Alberta's run in second place. Alberta's run getting plenty of weight today. We'll have a real chance at the weights if he can produce his best form. Guanaco on the near side of Schindler's Hunt, then Planet of Sound. Voipuru Stades is back in the field seeking for his uh, 15th career win. If he wins this for Porsche stages, he'll take his win, pro win and place prize money beyond a million. A beautiful jump there from Alan King's warrior with Robert Thornton in the saddle. Panjo Bear at the tail of them, and Medicinal is the back marker. So passing the stands, and the Haydock race was played out live here at Ascot and gripped the audience, as I'm sure it did you at home. It was just one of those races which neither horse deserved to lose. They swing right-handed, Monet's Garden leads the way. Alberta's run is second, Schindler's Hunt is third. Then Guanaco, Planet of Sound on the inside, Voipura State is out wide of Panjo Bear, and Medicinal is rather detached in the hands of Daryl Jacobs as they take the first on the next part of the course. Mistake there from Voipuru Stades. Robert Thornton just had to sit fairly tight as they continue on towards another plain fence. Coming up, this is the eighth. And over this, Monet's Garden and now Berta's run. Not much between them. Guanaco, Voipuru Stades on the far side. Schindler's Hunt tracking them. And then Panjo Bear and Planet of Sound. And then at the back in the light blue sleeves medicinal, this is an open ditch they're coming to. Monet's Garden gets a kick in the belly going into that bad mistake from Planet of Sound there. Richard Johnson thrown back in the saddle almost to the end of the reins. And he had to sit very tight. Another plain fence. Monet's Garden, Alberta's run Guanaco. Schindler's Hunt over in fourth. Fourth, Voipuru Stades is right there. Uh, this group of five covered by barely three lengths. And then a gap of three lengths or more to Planet of Sound playing catch up after that blunder and then Panjo Bear as now they swing right-handed out of Swingley Bottom with six fences left to jump, Medicinal completely tailed off and Alberta's run has shadowed Monet's Garden all the way. Voipuru Stades and Guanaco right there on the outside followed by Schindler's Hunter, they take the next again Voipuru Stades didn't really have a cut at that, lost a length and a half, couple of lengths even on towards the next, this is five out, Alberta's run with the lead to Guanaco, a little nod from Schindler's Hunt. Monet's Garden finding it hard now. Panjo Bear is running a big race right there for the Moors as they jump the next. Alberta's run Guanaco. Voipuru Stades gets the hurry up from Robert Thornton. Then Panjo Bear, Schindler's Hunt, Planet of Sound, and Monet's Garden as they continue on their journey over the third last. Alberta's run and the champion jockey with the lead here as they now race towards the home turn. Guanaco is second. Panjo Bear is third. Voipuru Staders has had a troubled run round owing to several jumping mistakes. Then Schindler's Hunt, Planet of Sound at the back of these. And then Monet's Garden, homeward bound with two fences left to jump. And it's Alberta's run on the far side. The horse that chased home Corto star in last year's King George at a very long distance. Over two out. Alberta's run by three legs there. And down Guanaco unseats Christian Williams into second Planet of Sound. Then third Panjo Bear. Voipuru State is making hard work of it. Racing towards the final fence, Alberta's run and Tony McCoy by four legs Planet of Sound a big jump in second then Voipuru Stades and racing up towards the line and it's Alberta's run, a former Cheltenham Festival winner, well treated by the weights, getting weight all round today and wins the Amlin 1965 chase, 
in second planet of sound Voipur who stayed is to his credit kept going remarkably well and surely he may be worth another try at three miles back in fourth then was Schindler's Hunt Hanjo Bear Monet's Garden and finally medicinal well Tony McCoy out of luck at Huntingdon earlier on today but uh, traveled on here to Ascot and he's had a great ride run around on Alberta's run returning to something like his very best form the sort of form that won him the Royal and Sun Alliance chase in 2008 and his second of course to the mighty Corto star at Kempton last year Alberta's run not the easiest to catch on a going day but he was on form today and he lands up third race here live on C4 the Amlin 1965 steeplechase at odds of seven to one the second horse number four planet of sound he had a troubled passage but he ran on well to take second at 100 to 30 joint favorite third horse number two Voipor Estenis seven to two yeah and the reason he's won this is because he jumped much much better than anything else in the race uh, we lose Guanaco I think first in the straight Panjo Beers run really well planet of sound though missed uh, the last one going down the hill he missed another one you just can't afford to do that in uh, this type of race for Perustead is a lost count of the number of mistakes that he made that's so uncharacteristic and uh, Alberta's run is just rock solid isn't he just keeps I mean he's almost flat out most of the way around here but he gets in close he does whatever you want he just makes an effort when he gets to the obstacles and uh, he's just a thoroughly thoroughly good chaser so awaiting the return of Alberta's run here at Ascot on his way back to the winner's enclosure but uh, in the meantime let's rejoin Alistair